Hello everyone, so here's my Tree Motion S light and uh, normally it comes right out of the factory with one of these rings, a rigging ring uh, for the bridge attachment but um, since then I've used all types of swivels um, and uh, the swivels, well I don't really like them too much. I started uh, seeing people use rigging rings or rigging paws on their attach as an attachment on the bridge so i decided to start going that route and ever since then i really liked it and um so i was running this uh rigging pole here and i like it i like the i like how you can attach things to it uh especially with drt systems where uh like for instance the the akimbo uh, the Rope Runner Pro, you have to have two different positions, two places uh, where to attach them and it keeps that space between the working line and the standing line. Uh, for the zigzag, it doesn't really matter, so I just attach right here in the middle. Uh, for any SRT um, applications, I just attach right here to the middle. But um, anyway, I bought this guy here. Uh, this is the cheese plate, the small cheese plate by CT Climbing. It's really nice. I'm, I'm kind of just blown away by the color of this. This is a really nice blue, uh, sort of metallic-ish, and it just looks nice. It's really nice color here. Uh, so I'm going to go from this one to this one, and, and it's a nice upgrade. It's much uh, more textile friendly with these rounded edges here instead of these uh, more sharper edges here on the Rock Exotica plate. Uh, but nevertheless, this, this was a good plate. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get rid of that, that one and start using this. This one also has uh, the eyes spaced further apart. So it gives you um, that much more space between your standing part of the line and the working part of the line uh, if you're gonna be using an SRT device like I like to do for a DRT uh, anyway yeah that's how you uh, I'm gonna just throw it on there real quick and then I'm gonna make this fisherman's knot I believe you come in through the back and then through the front no that that doesn't work yeah see there's like you can mess it up if you do that way um, I remember when I first got my my first monkey beaver saddle I did that and I didn't realize that I did the the fisherman's knot wrong and so it started sliding on me in the tree and I the knot almost came out so make sure you tie it right uh, so yeah there it is that's it right there beautiful so thanks again uh, tune in for the climbing video where I'll be showing you guys uh, the first climb on the cocoon pulley in a friction saver system with DRT system uh, until next time y'all